Hello, it's time for the YouTube Makers Secret Santa. So a bunch of maker channels have got together, we've all picked a name at random, and now we have to make something for another channel. The channels involved are Colin Furs, The Hacksmith, it's Stephanie Explains It All, This Old Tony, Look Mum No Computer, Kids Invent Stuff, Alan Pan, Sufficiently Advanced, and me, and I've put all the links to the other channels in the description to this video. So the names are drawn at random, and it turns out I've got to make a Christmas present for The Hacksmith. So, I'm in England, he's in Canada, I've got a bit to ship it to Canada, so I can't make anything massive, and also there's a £75 budget, which is about $100. So, I've had a think about this, I've got to make something quite unique. I've decided Batman's got his bat signal, Superman's got kryptonite, Spider-Man's got his spidey senses, but the Hacksmith hasn't got anything, so I'm going to build a superhero alert system. <laughs> Yes, it's a box with a light on. What did you expect for $100? Anyway, I cheated on the budget because I got loads of the parts sponsored. So thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and loads of other projects in my channel. Check out my channel for more 3D printing and check out 3dfuel.com. And also thanks to NVIDIA for this two gig Jetson Nano that's going to be living inside. Now this still retails at $59, so it's still actually within budget and the rest of the parts in here are out of my scrap box. So I'm saying it's within budget, even though if you wanted to build it from scratch, it might be a little bit over. So let's have a closer look. In the front of the box is a seven inch TFT monitor. Wow, look at that. Well, this thing's absolutely rubbish and we're just putting it there so we can see the screen and that's about it. Around the back, it does have HDMI and VGA, but the power connector snapped off ages ago, so I've sold these wires straight to the PCB. Inside, we've got our Jetson Nano. So basically, we've got a whole computer in a little box. Also mounted in this side, is going to be one of these 10 amp 5 volt regulators that I quite frequently use for powering jets and nanos so that's just a voltage regulator it means we can put 12 volts into the whole thing and we get a decent 5 volts for powering the computer on the top we're going to mount one of those revolving orange lights that I've had kicking around for about six years and I don't know what to do with and I've also got some very annoying illuminated buzzers in the front. Right, it's all booted up. I'm powering it off a bench power supply at the moment. That's the fan you can hear running. Won't be sending a power supply of batteries. Battery's not included. There's no budget left. Also, no keyboard and mouse provided. Right, let's have a look at this screen. Well, you can just about see what's going on. You can almost read the text anyway. It's pretty dodgy though. I think it's trying to run in 1080p, but it's not a 1080p screen. It kind of upscales internally. If I try and shut it down, you can't really see what the options are. So it's pretty dreadful, but all we really need to do is see a webcam view in here and see what's in the webcam. We're going to retrain a deep learning model on the Jetson Nano using a camera mounted in the front so that it recognises a superhero and sets all the lights and sounds off when it sees one. And we're going to tell the Hacksmith it's a superhero alert system. The twist is, we're actually going to train it just to recognise the Hacksmith's face. He's looking pretty distinctive at the moment, so that should be quite easy. And all we need is loads of pictures of him, and that's easy as well, because he's on YouTube all the time. Now I am going to train it to recognise a couple of other objects, just in case he has a haircut and he ends up looking completely different, because then it won't work at all. This is my training setup, so here we've got my laptop, and I ripped around 100 images of the Hacksmith out of his YouTube channel. Various images of Captain America's shields and Thor's hammer. I've got that plugged into a HDMI to USB video capture device basically and that USB is plugged into the Jetson Nano and I'm using a 4 gig Jetson Nano for the training because it's got more RAM and it will be quicker. So then we're using the camera capture utility provided by Nvidia which you can see on this screen and that allows us to go through and highlight the Hacksmith's face or whatever thing we're trying to categorise put them into categories and train the model. I used about 100 images of the Hacksmith's face and another 50 images of Captain America's shield and also Thor's hammer. And I also grabbed a bunch of images of Google images of people's faces that aren't the Hacksmith so that we've got some people basically without long hair and beards. So there's something for the model to compare against 
so it doesn't just detect every human face and think that's the hacksmith. So we can test that now with the Raspberry Pi camera, which seems to work pretty well. I'm not the hacksmith, but I didn't train it on my face. I just trained it on Google Images of people with short hair and no beard, so I'm pretty happy that that seems to identify me with a fairly high confidence rating as not the hacksmith. Right, we don't have the real hacksmith, we've got the hacksmith imposter. And um, yeah, pretty sure it knows the difference, so that's really good. We won't really know what happens till we ship it to the actual hacksmith, but I'm pretty confident right now it's gonna know the difference between him and most other people, hopefully. Right, let's try uh, something else. Yeah, that one's pretty distinctive, so I don't think there's gonna be any issues there. If he has a haircut, he can still make it work by holding up Captain America's shield. And the other one was Thor's hammer, which I didn't train on my Thor's hammer. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows what Thor's hammers look like, so if he's got a Thor's hammer, then he should be able to get something out of it. So that's pretty good. Let's try all of these at once. But, you know, it only has to trigger the alert once when it sees the Hacksmith or Captain America's shield. So that's good enough anyway to uh, trigger the system and make the superhero alert system work. Right, here it is. So it's all built into its box. You can just about see the screens working there. It's pretty dodgy. We've got this light which has got a connector and it just sits on top so I can take it off for shipping. Around the back we've got two connectors, red and black terminals to power that off 12 volts and I'm just using a 12 volt LiPo which seems to power it perfectly well. Yep, Raspberry Pi camera's fitted in the top there, so it's not too bad if you crouch down and look directly into the screen. It's a much better view, so you can just about see what's on the camera anyway. I've written some code that activates the lights and sounds for at least four seconds when it's triggered, but it has to see the object for more than half a second, so we get rid of any temporary glitches where it sees some shape in the background that looks like a block with a stick and thinks it's Thor's hammer, so it has to make sure you actually hold the object in front of it for more than half a second, and then it triggers everything. Hello, I'm the Hacksmith. Captain America! The superhero alert system's gone off in the post and now it's time to open my secret Santa which has come from another maker, I've no idea who. Right, it's got lovely pink tape on, it says secret Santa on it. Oh, it's just pink duct tape, who uses pink duct tape? Right, what's this? Oh, it's packed well. Right, here's a piece of paper. It's from Miss Stephanie Explains It All. It's actually quite long, we'll have to read this in a minute. Right. Cool, there's something weird looking. Right, here we go, there's a battery charger and something in bubble wrap. Let's see. Let me cut this tape off here. Right, here we go. Right, it's a little robot. Highlights of the note are, she's thrilled she got me for Secret Santa, that's good, thank you. I hope you like Scrap E the robot, where the A is a four, I'll put that on the screen. So the battery's included, there is a charger. So Scrap E's very glitchy is intended because he suffers from depression and anxiety. Can you guess what the counter's for? There's a counter on the front, we'll power that on in a minute. So uh, let's see, it's all in one piece at least though. So let's power this on and see what happens. It looks like an Arduino with a soundboard and an SD card in, a speaker, maybe two speakers, and some motors and a battery. So let's see what it does. Way! Right, put it on a box so it doesn't try and kill itself anymore. Let's try that again. Ah, there it goes, right, it's going in a circle. It's doing random things. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Why was I programmed to feel pain? Why was I programmed to feel pain? Right, I've glued his body back on so it doesn't drag on the wheels anymore. I think that happens when I grabs it. Not sure what this counter does. It seems to count to 16 all the time. 
Oops, off it goes. Oh. No, it's stuck again. Well, I'm still not sure what that counter does. It just seems to counter 16 all the time. But if you think you know, put it in the comments to this video. So thanks to us, Stephanie explains it all for that. Don't forget to check her channel out, including the catamatic she got last year from Colin Furs. And if you want to see if this works with the real Hacksmith's face, you'll have to check it out in his channel and see what he's made for another channel.